Okay, people, you know, say the Labor Day over, so it's back to business. And just like with business, we're here to check the numbers. You feel what I'm saying? Because the first week album sales are in, and we're asking the question, did Spice Emancipated album flop? Or did it do a good job? You see me, I said, big up all the besties, them that copped the album. We're talking all 700 of Uno because she got 700 pure album sales. And big up the rest of the people, them that streamed on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you feel I'm saying, because a million ad streams got added to her, you know, 1500 total units consumption in America. You know what I mean? And this did better than her last album, 10, with 1447 units. Now, people, this project, you see, she did all on her own. No label money, no nothing. You know and I mean, so I'm going to ask you that next question, you know, should dancehall artists really spend on marketing? Because when she was doing this VP10 album, they had her all over the, 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 the camera, you know, what I mean, from Wendy Williams to this news channel to this, that and this. And you see that she only get 1400 basically sales, you know, what I mean, but she did this emancipated by her own and she did the same. You feel me? So. I don't know, they're putting out a comment section. Do dancehall artists need to promote their ish? And because honestly, I wasn't expecting her to do better than the last album. It seemed to say, but that's just my um, guess. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't think Spice really cares about the sales because she done richer already and this is not going to affect her bookings. But I seen her did an interview where she said she wanted this album and we're talking about emancipated album to bring her or to introduce her into new markets. Now I'm gonna ask you another question, putting out a comment section, what markets is Spice talking about? Now I'm gonna guess that she wants to try to go into the African market, cause you know Afrobeats and Jamaican thing go hand in hand basically. And you know what I mean? If you sell a million records in Nigeria, you're not saying this, you feel me? And I think she wants to get into the hip hop um, arena like Shensia. You see me, I said, because we know Spice has been doing this trap thing for a long time. You know what I mean? From duffel bag money to no clap clap. You feel me? You see me, I said, so I guess it's, I'm going to say she's trying to go into that hip hop market. You know, probably like the club scene type of thing. You know, clap clap is like a, it's like a stripper type song. You see me, I said. But let's give an update while going on with the first week album sales. And you know, Shinsea still holds that title of the highest um, album sales for the first week for 4900 It's similar followed by Coffee. So, big up all the ladies, them that's doing it. And let's proceed to the next one. Yes, and this is why Jada Kingdom is vexed. People, you don't know what it thinks. It. It's two different worlds. In our one, you know, Jada Kingdom's Jamaican, and you know, her boyfriend. Nas is American and you know Jamaicans don't do promise ring you feel what I'm saying when a man go down upon one knee you know what time it is yes engagement you feel uh, so you know he had to clarify a few things for letting her know say it's just a promise ring you feel me um, but you know Jamaicans hard-headed and not everybody get the message and I guess they was you know I look I guess making fun of her because she said yes and all of this stuff I don't really know you know but she took to her IG so she's addressing two things here one our man is not broke but we'll get to that later so she said this so the majority of y'all don't know what a promise ring means okay copy <laughs> jada you never know say i promise ring that you think that engagement real but whatever though you know i'll be big up yourself twinkle she also said tell her boy just nine months ago you actually asked me to be your girlfriend Guys, don't even ask that question anymore. Now, a promise ring? <laughs> Come on now. Whoever raised you, I thank them. I love and appreciate you so much. And you know, she can't let all they hit us, them. She said, and another thing at Nas, remember what we spoke about. Don't fold for nothing. These hating ass shit munchers don't know shit about you. You really missed the make shit happen. Hashtag real go get her. Hashtag risk taker. You see me, I say me people, boy. The people that must say them never say risk taker or floss before Jada come in my life, you know. But me now I watch no man. That's on the job now the comment section for putting. You see me, I say. 
no, you know, Jada protect your investment, you see, man. So Jada see a gold mine in her homeboy, and she's going to pr- protect her investments. You know what I mean? So she now making no batty washes. Come and style her, man, whether they have money or not. Because they must say she might use all that in- endorsement money. But, nah, but anyway, people, let's proceed. Just again, I'm update what I'm going for, not a guan. And now, people, the toothless monster is dissing me again because we asked the story or asked the question, did Duffy Magnum get deported? You see me, I say, and we see, we see that the PR is doing, um, how should I say this? They're doing a PR move by saying that she did not get deported. Well, people, we never said that she got deported. And by looking at this picture, you see me, I say, you look like you say, you a suck enough brief. You know what I mean? Because you look like a straight dude. But anyway, people. Let me see the one dance I'll fag him who has a follow up my story them and the Jamaican cleaner. Um, putting out these stories with Dovey and addressing the deportation rumors, you feel what I'm saying? But what they're saying is not making no sense, people. You know what I mean? I'm going to be honest with you. Like I said, she did not get deported. So deported is not on her record. You feel what I'm saying? But what they're saying, it doesn't make no sense. Because why would she need to be in Jamaica on a Labor Day holiday, being in the studio and not being booked making money? That doesn't make no sense, people. It's a mess. And all who knows the immigration process I don't know what I'm going from what I'm going. You see me, I say, um, I really don't want to say much now, but if I don't know, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? So there is something going on with Duffy while she is back in Jamaica. But like I said in the first review I did, she didn't get deported because we was asking the question, you know, because we know that she was in um, immigration court. And normally when people... Um, beat immigration court, what's the first thing they do on social media? Put in the comment section. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of red flags around this story. But like I said, I really don't care because I was congratulating her first time I did the review on her getting her green card. But my sister, she does not have a green card, you know? But anyway, people, that's again that update where I go on from what I to go on. Because even know, so the people are going to fire around us and ask me, oh, them said that she's not deported, blah, 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 blah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, let's proceed. And now, from Cartif to Montif, Big Chef is clearing the air waves once again that she is not out here sleeping with people's husbands, much less people's man. You see me, I say, and she wants Dewey to tell the truth. You know what I mean? And regardless if he wants to tell the truth, she has the receipts to prove everything, yes. You know, we showed a little piece yesterday, you know, but it looked like say, that wasn't enough, you know. So the girl go back live to address Queenie and, you know, such man, you see me, I say. She had no people. Me here say Queenie, them old for me, you know. You know what I mean? But no worry in itself. Me take my screenshot, them already. And we're ready for whatever, you feel me? Yeah. Number clock, fucking line. I don't need to. I like man with fucking money to put some respect. This is what you lot do. You love to draw me out like say my name is Bumper Clock Tuesdays. But let's go into it once again. So, what really happened with you and Dewey now? Tell you me. lot love Dewey too fucking much. Because his name's Dewey, Dewey, isn't it? Sweet. So, you and him had a conversation. Yeah. What was it pertaining? You <laughs> man, Dewey. <laughs> Wait. That's baby. Uh, I like a message and say, Watch out. Watch out. Oh my God. Watch out. Yeah. Let's go up to the top now. One more clock. The other phone. I'm not there. I'm doing this one more fucking time. And after this, I ain't doing it again. So. Exactly, Miss Wang. No, no, see the Miss Carlem. Yeah, we had let's go back to the Miss Carlem. Yeah, oh no, you want to say fuck. Yeah, 254, 254, 255. If not, ease up on the Carlem. Yeah, okay. 
Let's go to the top. Let me go to the Instagram first, actually. Because it started when I asked for bleaching cream. I saw him get my number. Saw him get my fucking number. Seeing as uno. Yeah? That's how him knows him there at Bristol. See, I am changing page to this. No, on a run, go look if I'm really changing page to that. So, on a no, say, I am not telling no lies. Yeah? Hey, can I have prices on your cream? Where you're from? UK, Bristol. Do you already know me anyway, you know? He said, okay, the face cream is for £25. Same thing for the body cream too. Yeah? Boom. Cloud. Yeah? Nice price. How big are they? So this must be the tree something that Miss One was talking about. But there's four here. Yeah? The number was sent. He asked me for my number. Because he said his business thing, his um, Instagram, he's on it. But he's not on it like that. So he needs me to make the order via WhatsApp. Yeah? When he gave me the number for fucking WhatsApp, it never came up. I sent him my number. Yeah? Boom, bam, mm -hmm. now. Let's go back onto the WhatsApp. When he finally okay. messaged me, the 9th of July, you're good, pretty girl. Me, we're ugly. Yeah? I'm good. How was work? Yeah? It was good. Yeah? The voice notes, you can't really hear it. Hold on. Oh, it's in my headphones. Doing this one last fucking time, man. <laughs> yeah? He knows I'm Bristol because I told him that's where I am for the cream to be sent. Yeah? I meant me come in London, but boy, I'm in a move yet. What are you doing later? Yeah? I'm doing nothing. I said, come party with me. Is it me? Why, uh, why, where are you coming? Which party sent him the flyer? He said, uh, which part, which part that I keep? I said, not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the location hasn't been released yet. Oh, he said, so, oh, so at what time you are reached? I said, about 9 or 10. He says, stop with you. That was at 10.46. Yeah, so from 2.55, he's not heard nothing from me. Yeah, he's asked me, what's up? I said, I'm on my way to London. Yeah? Oh, me think you reach already. Must have soon reach, man. He said, yeah, so you now met my seal. I said, you're coming to the party. I keep bringing it back to the fucking party, bro. Because even though I've invited you out, me and you done had a phone call. You told me that your wife had a booking. I said, yeah, when it's done, both of you forward. It's my friend's thing, so I'm trying to promote my friend's thing. You understand, Sask? Hello? No, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah? Let's try to make the noise in the voice note. Oh, okay. Soon, re he's at soon reach. No, I said that to him. Soon reach, cool, cool, cool. Um, I said you coming to the party. It's in, it's in Edmonton. He said she's soon gone enough. You're coming for me. I said I never ended up driving. I'm on the train. He said, what did he oh, say? Yeah, she's remember? soon gone. Queenie's soon gone. Yeah, because he's saying that she had a part a booking, but so he's mm. saying that he's not gonna go to the booking. He's gonna come to the party. You see mm. me? Yeah. I said you can get cab because he's telling me to come and get him. I'm telling him to get. Can mm. you see me? Mm. Yeah, I'm not trying to look. You know, if we come out in a public, you know, um, what goes, but we're linking a private, it's a link in a private. Do we are friends? My, my, so my, my, friend, my, my. Say, that's not a loyal say, husband. Say, so, friend and friend, while good soap. So, that's I wanted one. Who? who wanted who? Who did want for who? Link in private. Do it. We are friends. So friend and friend while good soup. Yeah? 
I said, if it's a private linking, that means something is there to hide. I rate your wife. That's a no-no. Yeah? Una can see with una yai? Miss Wang, can you see? Miss, Miss, Mama Vite, Miss Wang back now. Come on, here when Miss Wang officer now. No, no, no. Okay. No, Monday, you know, say certain things when I do, you know, as much as... All right. You well. read it, you read it text now, duh. Read it, you are... friend. What the fuck, you have to... Are you slow or are you dumb? No, me you ask you something, Chevy. Big old man thing now, Chevy. You slow. No, big old man thing now. Because Queen, <laughs> you have to, Queen, don't be a try to tell you, say. Queen, you are left now. For you come pick him up. After that, yeah, after style of British party... What happened no, with the Andobi? You tell me, because you know more than me at this point. Me ask you a question now. Me big man thing. Still Hello. working with the pants. I go for him. As big man. After style of British party, what happened to you and Dobby? Without the text, phone call. Phone call. Not the text. Phone call. Miss Wong, are you slow? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Are you stuck on slow? Do you want me to help you? L listen, listen to me, my girl. Have a lovely you, day. Goodbye. Would you like me to help you because you're asking me something that don't even make no sense? What happened? What are you tell me what happened because clearly you feel like something happened with this man. If I said to him, bro, link in private. What date was? We're, we're, we're friends. This is the 9th of July still. The party, as you can see, the 9th of July. Yeah. Okay, so that was the conversation after the 9th of July. This was, no, the, the member said, the 9th, yeah, the party's keeping. But you know these parties, basically early morning settings. Mm. Mm. Do you get it? Do you understand? Mm. So this is where it now went into the tent. And I said to him, look, 12 a.m., I'm still on my way to London. Do you get it? Mm. Lord, Lord, right? Lord. So I said, if it's a private linking, that means there's something to hide. I rate your wife. That's a no-no. Zimmy. So I've nipped yeah. that in the bud. Yeah. Dory said, I better something hide than it load up. Right. I said, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know exactly mm -hmm. what me at that. But I said, Jaja, I don't stay certain way. You, you know, I told you already. Yeah. Okay, any any oh you want put it right? Let's go to Instagram. Remember, say at the 10th of July, this you know, you see me 10th of July, 12 a.m. Right? Let's go into fucking it now. Cause Miss Wanga move like she done, and don't have no sense and she feel like 10 blood clap. What, yeah, but is, that... is 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 Queenie and Dewey together right now at the at that time when things were going on. They were having issues. They're together right now. Yes, they are together right now. So then, why are you why are you arguing and defending your honor if they're not in an argument? Why are you why are you arguing? I don't understand. What do you say? If if her and her husband are not in a problem, because he tried to come on live, the whole reason is because they he tried to come on live and style me yesterday and say that I was running him down and looking him to defend himself. Yeah, but we've discovered that this is the opposite now. We can see the conversation saying pretty. Yeah, well, so no one is in no argument. I, Do you get it? He's looking so the, exactly. So the lady who came wait. on here. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. Miss One came on here talking half-hearted fucking story. Like, says she really am fucking no, and she's in bed with Dewey and fucking Queenie and fucking out the two of them. But anyway, yeah. That's what sad. does that say? The tenth of July at twelve thirty-six, Queenie. We need to talk. Yeah. Okay. So did you like, end up talking? Back to the fucking, no. Because she don't follow me, so she never see my message. I want to know what phone call she's talking about. But anyway, let's go into it. Let's go into it. There's no, there's no other phone calls. Do you understand what I'm saying? But wait, hold on. Yeah, the 11th now, the next day, pretty girl. I said, What's up, sir? He sent a voice note. Hey, give me a minute, then we'll get back here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That was at 5 30 in the evening. Yeah, I said, Ah, yeah, 
me never message him or nothing again. He messaged me 8 35 in the morning. Good morning, pretty face. I said, What's up, Dewey? Call me Chevy or Chev. Yeah, I'm making you know that this shit don't run with me, dog. Yeah, it don't run with me. People are going to say, Yeah, but come on, I blocked him. Do you get it? Yeah, call me. You keep calling me pretty. You keep and I keep putting you in your place, bro. You're now still calling me pretty and whatever. And I'm saying, yo, big man, call me Chevy or Chev. Yeah, and he said, okay, Chev, nothing, just here. Um, no, 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 no. What um, what for do for myself? I said, ah, call me. Yeah, he said, give me a minute. Boom, bam. Sent him something that, um, because he said that he couldn't see my, my status on WhatsApp. I said, I don't have one up. Do you get it? Don't bust me up. By what I can see, the man is obviously looking you. The lady that come on here is saying at the end of the day, you and him should have yeah. been texting, yeah. texting in the beginning, but she obviously didn't know, so you would already message Queenie. Ow, ow, naughty. No, wait, stop it. Anyway, look at this now. Yeah. Yeah, I said to him, I need you because he's still, he's on the phone, he's called me, right? I've got two phones. Whether on, look, as you can see, the, my WhatsApp number, and anybody that knows, yeah, my WhatsApp number is a Jamaican number. So when you call my other, when you call my England number, it's going to call this phone. Do you get it? When you call my England number, look, let's go into it. Let me show you, say, yo, it's not no joke, Yeah. My WhatsApp number is a Jamaican number. Do you get it? Yeah? So you can't call me straight. So when he's calling me straight and he's calling me up on WhatsApp, he's going to call my other phone. His, number, his number's not saved on the other phone. Right? Back onto it. I've had to let him know, brother, no matter what happens, yeah, I said to him, I need for you to understand. I know. I need for you and me to come to an understanding, though, you know. Maria, the two of you, regardless of this outcome, my role right now is just to assist helping you whatever way I can. But I don't want, I, I don't want there to be no intimacy. I'm your friend or sister. Yazid, no disrespect. I'm a cool person to be around them, bro. So when Miss Wong is going to come up here and talk about she is some of what do it for bleach and blood clad cream. Me love bad man. Yeah? My love man with money. You understand? Bleaching cream ain't doing it for me. Bleaching fucking cream ain't doing it for me. Do you get it? Put some respect and on the fucking name, bro. Are you fucking dumb? Just don't rise to it, because obviously that's foolishness, obviously. Queenie obviously couldn't see so much evidence and know them kind of man where she take up and believes that. You wanted to rev up my fucking old bruv. That's why yesterday on the live, when I asked you, who the fuck are you addressing? It's me! Good. Could never be me you're talking about what's up my mother and Ray, Ray, Ray when I didn't do shit to you, yeah? You got butt hurt because yeah. he slid into a fucking live and I called him a drunk when he slid into the live and he got upset. He messaged me about it. Look. One man to Queenie, goody, and that I do it. People. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, hit notification bell to be notified when I drop the latest in dance on news, music, reviews and gossips. Bless.